Okay, so <laughs> we're back. It's 1017 a.m. on July 10th, 2024. Uh, happy birthday to somebody in the chat. I don't know. I just heard that. So July 10th, somebody's birthday. Well, it's obviously somebody's birthday. You feel me? But this is your uncle. I am your uncle, 79, the spiritual savage. Thank you for joining us here again today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, select the all options so that you know when all my uploads upload. You feel me? <clears throat> Thank you, Dad, the Most High God, for bringing us here for this message, for waking us up today to giving us a breath of life. Uh, so, uh, th just thank you. I'm going to jump into this message because I was playing with the cards and then they, I split the deck. So we got the devil in the reverse, to death in the reverse, to the sun, which is very good energy here. Ooh, with the chariot right behind that as well. Okay. So there's some type of... I'm hearing uh, the sun will come out tomorrow. Let your bet your body not tomorrow. There'll be sun. Uh, that's is that Annie? The sun will come out tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, that's Annie. Somebody's name could be Annie. Okay, somebody could have uh, a curly red weave. I just heard. I don't know that this message resonates with. So the devil in the reverse to death. It's like you. You somebody broke off something very toxic, or you were being advised to. You know, take take the energy as it resonates. Yeah, he's going to play with the cards. Uh, but the devil in the reverse, that could have been a Capricorn. Well, I'm going to pull some energy out. So let's just see what we got here. This is going to be a quick message here. I just thought it would be, uh, I, come on, come on, come on. Hey, you're, acting, yeah, you're acting like your mom. Okay? All right? We understand each other, buddy? Yeah, I think we do. Thank you. So when I did my other deck, when I split the other deck, I, I kept them like this because I was just playing with them. You got the Queen of Pentacles to the Three of Swords to uh, Lucifer. So there's a Queen of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Death. There's some. This Queen of Pentacles could have been this devil energy. Okay? There was some type of betrayal here, some type of backstabbing. There's death here. Okay? I'm picking up on the fact that there was something meant for you. Somebody was betraying you, a, 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 a feminine uh, earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy that, that was betraying you. Uh, and this could have easily resulted in some type of death. But this is the plan. I feel like these are plans. They had somebody you had a relationship with, a lover. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or, 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 okay, so we got three, the three of swords. We're talking about third party betrayal. This is somebody from your family, too. Or two people that are married. I don't know. Because the Ten of Cups is behind the Temperance and the Lovers. Okay? So, with the Three of Swords out here, that talks about third-party situationships. It can. But it seems as if uh, a Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. A Queen of Pentacles, a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, feminine. Now, she doesn't have to, <clears throat> excuse me, she doesn't have to be an earth sign, but there's something very wealthy about this woman. This is a wealthy woman. This could be a businesswoman. I keep hearing woman, so we're definitely talking about a woman. Or you could be that. You could be the Queen of Pentacles here. You could be the Queen of Pentacles. You are in the upright. I mean, it doesn't take... Well, we're going to take the energy as it resonates, but this is family. Ten of Cups here. There's something about a family unit here. Uh, with the temperance to the lovers, that's, that's Sagittarius, Gemini, death. That's the betrayal. I'm wondering if, okay, there was a death. Okay, this is where we. This is where I thought it was going to be a good. I mean, it could still be a good message <laughs> with this remaining energy out here. I feel like you're next on the list. The devil in the reverse, to death in the reverse, to the sun, to the chariot. That's escaping a certain death. Okay, two people already passed on. 
because of this person or some type of betrayal. I don't know. We're going to get into it. Temperance to the lovers. Gemini. I mean, uh, Sagittarius, Gemini, death or a Scorpio. But this is a death. Some type of some type of betrayal ended up in the death of two family members here. OK. Can I get my table back, G? Oh, my God. I can't stand the way this. I, I mean, I love it. It's like, OK, so just a quick commercial break. The way the cat looks at me, sometimes I can't take it. Like my, it's 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 a too much. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever seen somebody so damn fine, like uh, on TV or like YouTube or something, and they that damn fine to where you got? I can't watch this shit no more. You got to turn it off for a brief minute, get yourself together. That's what I'm picking up from the cat. Like that's 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 what I'm explaining to you because his eyes are so human. Um, it's it's I'm telling you, he got human eyes. Look. Those are human eyes, y'all. Something about this cat is very human. But yeah, so that's when the cat looks at me sometimes, I'm just kind of like, that's weird. Is somebody is somebody uh, using this, operating this cat? Is this cat a familiar? Somebody Somebody's watching me using my baby kitten, but it's in a good way because of the way the cat, the cat loves me. So, so maybe somebody is, I don't know, but yeah. Come on, baby. I, got, I, need, I need this part right here, okay? So let's see. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, something said grab the roast iconic oracle deck. This cat is so interested in what I'm doing. I'm in love, y'all, with the cat. I am. Can y'all tell? Tap the deck, baby. Okay. <laughs> oh. Somebody's a bitch. A whole bitch. And there's something going on with this person's lips. I, I heard. Somebody could have uh, somebody could have big lips or get lip fillers. I just heard. Uh, we're definitely talking about a female, a bitch. Okay. Um, there's those th those three swords or three knives or three like that. This person is this person with these lips. There's something about this person's lips. Uh, yummy. I'm picking up. This person has had some type of work done. <clears throat> okay. Spirit said, get one more. I'm telling you, self care. This person has had some work done. Or this person likes to go to the spa. This person, uh, Queen of Pentacles here. She's a total bitch. Like she's not nice at all. Mm -mm, she's not nice at all. She has a very uh, shitty attitude towards people. Uh, she's very. She's. This person is wealthy. Okay. I just got exhausted. Um, from this energy, this person, why am I, why am I exhausted right now? The energy I'm picking up. So like if this, if this woman, like when this woman walks in the room, it's like people kind of, you know, they, they may be a little taken aback. They may be a little afraid. She might be like a very, uh, this person could have a lot of masculine energy about them as far as like their regret, like the, this person could be very aggressive. Or scary, downright scary even. And here's many men out there watching. I don't know how many would be watching. You know, I, most of my viewers are, are women, but uh, but this could go for women too. But you know, for any of my men out there, um, you ever met a woman that just was scary as fuck? <laughs> like beautiful, but scary. Uh, you know, where you're like, I don't know about her, man. She may seem, she seemed like she might, or you know, you know, do some, do some dirt. Not like illegal, well, illegal dirt, but you know what I'm saying? We've all met women before that uh, were very strong or, or or just you just this bitch could just be a witch. A lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, dark witches carry or well, even even, you know, a lot of dark witches. You can see it on them. I don't care how rich they are or how poor they are. Anybody that practices dark witchcraft, I can I'm all, I can always pick it up on them when I meet them. 
I can always tell. Because it's, it's something in the energy that's very threatening. Threatening. This, this woman could come across very threatening. But she has had a lot of work done. I heard a lot of work. I was going to say some work done, but I heard a lot of work done. Especially, there's something about... There's something about this person's lips is what I'm seeing, okay? Especially with that snack. She's attractive, okay? All right, so let's let's get some uh get some tarot on this. Spirit said grab some do somebody somebody's oracle cards here. Somebody's parents are karmic. <clears throat> Somebody's doing magic on you. It's in the reverse, so what does that mean? It didn't work or it's a backfire, okay? Somebody needs to move in silence. Somebody's talking too damn much or somebody, ah, get, get your, get down. Somebody needs to move in silence. I heard move in silence going forward. I don't know if you know this or not. I, I, I'm really picking up on the fact that this is your, this is a betrayal. This is something behind your back. Something very, uh, I'm picking up on some very, uh, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, some, some very um, sinister. I've been hearing that word a lot lately, sinister. <clears throat> Come here, punky. Come here, boy. Come on, get away from that. Somebody's in their south node. Somebody's gonna ask you out on a date. I really feel like that's a very specific here. Yeah, it's very specific. And somebody's got some funky ass breath. I don't know. <laughs> Hello. Okay, yeah, where that's it. Somebody's got some bad breath. This lady could have bad breath or somebody that's going to ask you out on a date or has asked you out on a date. I got some bad breath. You could be dating somebody with some bad breath. I don't know if you want to put that in the chat or put that in the comment section, but somebody out there dating somebody with some funk ass breath. Maybe somebody should go to the dentist and get a, their tooth, their, you know, their teeth kind of looked at. Let's see the true intentions deck out here. All right, and I'm, I'm going to try to keep this one under about 30 minutes. Okay, I don't have a rant. I don't have much to say outside of uh, bitches better quit sending witchcraft and spell work to people because as you can see, we're about to see how this works. But this person has been doing some type of magic over you. This person is a witch. Sabotage. I can't make it up. Sabotage. I'm deliberately working to uh, undermine your efforts. This person has been undermining your efforts. So with this, with this death... The death to, uh, what is this other card here? Sorry, y'all. Death to the tower in the reverse to the sun. It's like, it's like oh, the, the devil, duh, the devil to death. There's something here, and, but the tower in the reverse is underneath, was underneath the death, which tells me you, some, you just missed, like you just, you just got, a, like you got away. You feel me? Like in the nick of time, you got in. You're, you're, you've gotten away just in the nick of time, or you will be after getting this message here. Give me another card. True intentions of this uh, Queen of Pentacles energy. I feel like what the what the cards are telling me, anyways, is that uh, this Queen of Pentacles has <clears throat> gotten rid of two family members, or maybe one family member, maybe somebody she was a lover with. But the temperance to the lovers that either tells me that this person was with a Gemini, or there's a. a uh, two people in your family uh, 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 <clears throat> they rip don't want me talking about this at all like seriously because I'm having throat chakra issues here there's a, a Sagittarius or a Gemini in your family both that have died um, at the hands of this person I don't know if this person actually did it but that, that, that betrayal card out here yeah and you were next you were next in line so this person could have been sabotaging and, 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 and as we all know this is the Queen of Pentacles. So what are we gonna? What are, what's a what's a good what's a good assumption here that this person did this for money, life insurance? But because she's the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like this person is very wealthy based upon whatever they got from the death of these people. You were next. 
future. I'm thinking ahead and wondering what our relationship will be like in the future. This means that somebody was pl planning something, okay? So I have to sabotage something here for you. Let's get one more card, please. That wanted to come. We'll just take it. Loan. I'm in need of some financial assistance. <laughs> I can't make this shit up, yo. Ah, this person is in debt. Goodbye. I'm telling you, goodbye. The time has come to part ways. This person was going to off your ass because they are in debt. Bad news. Unfortunately, I have some bad news to share. I'm telling you, this person is bad news. B-A-D-N-E-W-S exclamation point. This person is... It was going to offer you for some money because they're in debt. They need financial assistance. This person lives above their means. It could be all the all the plastic surgery that they had or all the self-care that they've done to their face. There's something very particular about this person's face and body that says that they've got a lot of work done. Something about their lips or their teeth. Somebody could like have gotten that, uh, you know, that veneer, you know, the veneer thing. Did you did y'all see how that 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 clinic in uh this dude went all the way from Texas to Chicago or vice versa and paid all that money to get those veneers. And the person that did the veneers wasn't even a licensed dentist to even do it. The dude's teeth is all messed up underneath the veneers. He's in a lot of pain, got open pockets. I don't know, man. That's kind of deep. I, You know, do what you want to do with your it's your body. It's your face, your whatever, your teeth. Do whatever you just got because you never know who's on the other end of that. Especially when you go to these like dental clinics. Yeah, I've been to a dentist before who uh, jacked up my teeth in the back. Uh, yeah, stop it. Yeah, and down in Rochester, uh, everybody that I know that went there that was black, his teeth was all messed up. Come time they left that doctor's office, that dentist's office. Everybody I knew that was white was always like, he's a great dentist. Yeah, because he's a racist dentist. Do you feel me? So, do what you want to do. Uh, if you if you are dealing with uh, teeth issues, the best thing to do is just go to a dentist. If you want to whiten your teeth, there's a lot of things you can do out there besides having somebody grind down your teeth and then put something over your teeth. And they may not even be licensed or qualified to do that shit. Anybody can go on the dark web apparently and print off some license. Hell, anybody can print anything off and put it on a wall and say, that's what I did. But they didn't do it. Get you some baking soda. Okay, get on a baking soda regimen. I don't know. My teeth always white. I use baking soda um, every day. You feel me? A couple of times a day. You can do the same. Brighten your teeth right up. Hit that tongue too because somebody got some funky breath. Hit that tongue too with that baking soda. Neutralize that, that bacteria in there. You feel me? Get all that white shit off your, off your tongue. This is something for somebody out there. You need to hear this. Brush gently. Gent lightly scrape. If you hit the tooth, if you hit the tongue hard, it don't take it off because it's at the top of your tongue. You feel me? And on the top of the roof of your mouth. So you just got to do a little baking soda. You feel me? It'll take care of that, that bacteria, help you whiten your teeth, gargle with some salt water. Uh, if, you, if you use mouthwash, they got alcohol. So it's just going to dry your shit up again and your breath is still going to be funky with a little hint of mint. It's a little uncle advice for you there. I am a riot at barbecues, y'all. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Hey, stop that. Y'all will not believe what this cat... Oh, my God. Hold on. <laughs> he can't be doing that to him. He's grooming his brother, but he's... Oh, my God. I, I Hold on. This is... This is... Now, nah, this is too much. 9 11 on the clock. Somebody could be a Virgo or somebody need to call the police. <laughs> I'm not going to tell y'all what he was doing. But let's just say one cat's laying back like this, knocked out. Okay? We don't play that in this house. Okay? Take that gay cat shit when you grown. Get out of my house with that shit. <laughs> That's your brother, nigga. <laughs> don't be doing that. The fuck? Nah, cats do groom each other, though. All right. That did fuck my brain up, though. And I don't know what the fuck is he doing. <laughs> I'm going to tell you.
take a hold on y'all. I gotta take a picture of this cat's laying. It's so cute. Hold on. All right, if I remember, I'll upload it so y'all can see what I'm talking about. But that's it. Okay, so let's get back to this. Okay, you know I like to, I like to break it up a little bit, maybe throw in a little bit. Get, you know, because sometimes when we be, we, I've been even way deep in the readings, and it just seems like when you're done, it you know be kind of draining sometimes. Yeah, and so you know we gotta laugh about stuff, you guys. So you know this shit don't be funny, but I mean, during I, what I've learned is this: during tough times, during hard times, during sad times. Uh, we have we, we we're gonna be sad. We're gonna be af afraid. We're gonna you know all these all these feelings that we have that can possibly lower our vibrations and do at times. Even if it's something really kind of fucked up, it it does help just to have some a little something to maybe just laugh about. Not I'm not saying like now we all know that I'm not talking about certain things because certain things are just what they are. Be upset. Be angry. Be sad. I get it. But overall, um, if you're having a hard time today, um, think about uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I always, I don't know why it's so funny to me when I think, at least it brightens up my day to see him with tip tassels on, moving the, to the tassels around his, with his nipples. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That's because he took my name and, made, and, and got rich off some shit that belonged to me first. The eyebrow and the name. You feel me? So let's get on with this. That nigga live in Hawaii. I think I could probably beat his ass. Don't tell him I said that. Please don't. All right, come on. What are we talking about here? Somebody was next on the list because this person is in need of a financial assistance. Who are you to this person? Who is the collective to? Thank you, spirit. Listen, somebody was not playing. They, I'm telling you, they, this person was sabotaging you and walking away. Whoever this person was. This could be somebody that you used to be with, quite possibly. Maybe somebody you walked away from. It could be. It could really be. Okay. Uh, you could. You. Well, in order for this, uh, listen. This would. If we're talking about like some goodbye, this could be somebody that, you, or maybe you just walked away from this person because they were just too burdensome. But let's see. Clarify the ten of wands to the eight of cups. The nine of pentacles here. This person has been doing things to you to keep you heavily burdened, to keep you in the poorhouse, to keep you in a very lack uh reality here especially with the nine of wands here it's kind of like this person wanted you to be de de dependent on them uh with this ten of ten of wands to the eight of cups this says to me to the nine of pentacles here if you want to walk away from me i'll show you this could really be like your mama there is a mother and a child in this picture this could be like your mama or your auntie this is somebody that held you when you was a kid is what i'm getting at um a sister uh, some type of feminine energy here. Yeah, it's kind of like, especially with the Knight of Swords in the reverse, the Two of Cups. I don't know. I don't know. This person is very abusive. In this partnership, whatever this is, this could, I don't know. This, maybe this is your ex-wife. Maybe this, I don't know. Only you would know because whoever now there are there are instances I feel like a lot more than um, a lot more than this is your mother. And I'm going to tell you how I know this. This is about because I saw this in my in the reflection in the tablet. The onk. This is the birth canal. This is this is a, the, the feminine. This is the this is the feminine energy. The onk. This is the birth canal, the uterus, the, the fallopian tubes. You know, this is the birth canal. This is your mother. What's up with this two of cups, though? Your mother had you in a contract. There's some type of contract on you or your mom put a contract on to, uh, to hurt you because you walked away. Parents, you know, parents can be very possessive over their kids, especially when they need the financial assistance and they want to whack your ass. This is this is this might be triggering for some people. I don't know. Take the energy as it resonates. It could be your mother. It could be your mother. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Your mom's a witch. OK. This is either your mother or your baby's mother. But this person has already gotten rid of two people in their family. You were next. So you would have had to either be married to this person. There had to, because what do we learn about insurance policies? A person has to, they have to be able to um, substantiate that if something were to happen to you, there would be some type of financial impact on their life. So this has to, or, they, or, or there's some type of, there's a, or there has to be a reason for somebody to have an insurance policy on you baseline. 
This is somebody that you are, this is either your mother who's a witch or your ex-wife who's a witch or your current wife who's a witch, okay? Or your mama, I keep hearing your mama, King of Pentacles here. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Got your daddy sick. Your daddy could have been one of these, uh, the Gemini or the, or, the, or the Sagittarius here. Got your daddy sick. She was doing spell work over your daddy. A king of pentacles, somebody very wealthy. This could even be your stepmother. I just heard your daddy been with this lady for some time. This is your stepmother. Could be. I don't know. I'm just going to put somebody's mama. Okay, and look at the three of wands there. M made your dad sick. Why did she make your dad sick? Why did why do you think she made your dad sick? Over a long period of time too. Yep. Yeah. You don't like this lady. You don't like her. She's probably mean to you as a kid. Here goes that three of pentacles again. For money. So there's 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 somebody that this person has been doing this with. A king of wands in the emperor in the reverse. So we're talking about the king of, we got the queen of wands and the king of wands out here and the emperor in the reverse, ten of cups. This is somebody in her family. This is probably her sons. Spirit says that's the truth. Okay. The king of wands, the king of, the queen of wands in reverse to the king of wands and emperor in the reverse. This is an Aries masculine, uh, Aries masculine, uh, her son or something like that. A witch and a warlock, uh, a mother and her, her son is whacking people in y'all family. Okay, Spear says that's the truth because they're greedy. She's greedy and selfish. Okay, that's what I heard. But now she's getting karma because something backfired. I told you, didn't I? What did I say? The magic backfired. So this person sent out some type of death magic on you. Spear says that's the truth. You're protected. Okay, so let's get the outcome for this witch bitch and her son. Because now karma's going back. What's this person's karma? I'm going to use the Light Seers Tarot. Let's, use, let's see. Modern Witch or the Light Seers? Let's see. We'll just. You know, I don't know which one is which. Okay. I don't know which one is which. Which one are we going to take? Light Seers. All right. What's the karma for this person? What's the backfire? What's the future? Because the cat just tapped the future. What's the future hold for this woman and her uh, her son that have already gotten rid of two people in the family and you were the next? This person's in some very, uh, is, is in over their head. They could probably own a business. They're in over their head with the business. This person is very wasteful with money or spent too much money or just didn't think that money was going to run out. And now it has. I feel like this person owes more than they have. You feel me? Like they're, like they're in debt. Like some, this person is in some type of financial crisis. You could know about this or maybe you don't know about it. Um, I just heard that there's some type of family business that, you're, that you that you uh, possibly could work for, or do work for the comp do work for the family business. Okay? This person could be running the family business of your father who is the king of Pentacles. Thank you. Yep, six of Pentacles here. This person is in debt. I just said that. Okay, this person's in debt. What else we got here? Whoever you are, you made it out just in the nick of time. Yeah, you did. Gemini. Again, somebody, this person, this woman could be a Gemini. Okay? She really could. Sagittarius too, though. Yeah. I feel like this person... Six of Swords. The Moon. Gemini. Bankruptcy. This person could have recently filed bankruptcy. Yeah, something. There's something this person has signed you don't know this maybe the company i'm telling you this person is in over their head in debt okay this gemini so when i see the six of pentacles here talks about somebody being in debt okay six 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 is very significant yeah six 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 
this person balanced it out. I'm telling you, this person has filed bankruptcy before. This talks about, to me, this shows if the six of, six of Pentacles, I'm gonna just tell you how I'm hearing it, okay? Um, agree to disagree, agree to agree. I don't give a fuck, you feel me? Uh, but this person is in debt. This Gemini is in debt. They want to get away from that. That's to me. And, and then we have the, uh, the 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 page of page of swords, which talks about signing documents. You know what I'm saying? It just does. This person filed bankruptcy or is planning to file bankruptcy in the future. This person might have to file bankruptcy. OK, in the future, because we're talking about future energy here. This person might have to file bankruptcy. What else is going to happen to this person? OK, because they got your they, they were doing spell work over your dad. Uh, or this, or this, I'm picking up, it's got to be your dad. Uh, or doing spell work over your dad all that time. Uh, and he passed on. King of Swords. Clarify the King of Swords in the reverse. In the future for this uh, Queen of Pentacles, uh, Gemini energy. The stepmother, or mother, it could be. Somebody, whoever held you when you was a baby. So, and, you know. The devil in the reverse. One more. Thank you, Spirit. The King of Cups. couple more here. What are we doing here? The Ten of Wands. In the reverse. To the Page of Cups. In the reverse. To the Six of Cups. In the reverse. What's after that? The Sun again. This could be your mother, man, and a stepfather. That King of Wands, it could be her son. or This could really be your mother. Like, okay, so let's say like you and your mother, when your mother was, your mother and your father were married, okay? This is, this is how I'm picking it up. Your mother and your father were married. There's another man that your mom was with. Like pretty much what I'm saying is that she was just with your dad for money. Uh, this person, this, this, this mother figure is very abusive, probably was very abusive to your father, used your father. Um, now I feel like this person is your biological mother. I really do feel like that. I, I, cause I'm, this could be your biological mother. You probably do have other brothers and sisters too, that your mother had before you, you know what I'm saying? So you could be like the baby. Or the middle child, but something. Maybe I, your mother's already moved on. After your dad died, your mother quickly got with some King of Wands, an, an Aries masculine, a stepfather, Emperor in the reverse, somebody just as e equally ignorant and abusive as her ass is what I just heard. That's a confirmation. I feel like whoever you are, um, with the page of cups in the reverse to the ten of wands, it's like this this mother just kind of abandoned you emotionally. Okay? This mother could have possibly just like you know, it's so weird to me how people have kids with people and then they, you know, treat treat they treat you like this person treated you like how they treated your father. This person was very, just like a lot of emotional baggage. This person is an emotional blackmailer as well, but this person is a, she does spell work. She's a witch. She does some type of spell work behind the scenes confirmation i'm just gonna take it as a confirmation this person uh was very you don't have good memories with this with this woman or there's some type of trauma that uh i'm just picking up maybe abuse um physical kind of abuse um verbal abuse it's like you can tell that your mother does not like you that has never really cared for you okay Uh, so she planned on doing to you what she did to your father. So you probably got life. She probably got life insurance on you. There may have even been some type of inheritance or trust uh, that you that that was that should have been yours, and you probably know that it's gone. Okay, there ain't much more left for that. Is what I just heard. Okay, let's get some initials out here. So, but whatever it is. 
it's not working it's not gonna work um, I feel like what somebody's gonna ask you I don't well, I didn't even get to that so let's just let's just see but let me get some initials out here okay thank you J at the bottom of the deck so we got B O U J bougie Somebody's nickname could be Bougie. Juan. John. There we got P. Juanita could be. Jean Paul. Jean Paul. Those names could be very significant. French. Somebody could have French ancestry. Uh, somebody can go by JB or JB, PJ, you know, PJ, uh, something John though. John is very significant, okay? Jean Paul. And, I, and I'm not saying John Paul, I'm saying Jean Paul. So something very French. Bonjour is even out here. Something very, some, there's something about French, France. Bonjour. You feel me? Something very significant about an iPhone. Something very significant about an iPhone. Okay, with Bonjour. Bonjour is the uh, the program that you download uh, so that you can connect your iPhone to a uh, PC. It's the bridge or some shit like that. That's what I heard. So something very significant about an iPhone, okay? Let's see. So there was some type of plan here. You have fake accounts. Somebody's been hacking your accounts. Somebody's been catfishing you, all right? Fake accounts, so accounts to spy on you. This person's been spying on you, okay? They're trying to set you up to get you. I feel like they're trying to maybe set you up with somebody to whack you or to poison you. So maybe if you, uh, you know, with the devil in the reverse, this does talk about toxic toxicity. Um, I feel like whoever you are, you might have recently or just maybe have the idea to maybe stop getting high, okay? Or to stop being reckless or to stop doing something in a toxicity. I'm not knocking nobody. I'm just basically telling you what the cards are saying with the devil in the reverse to the death in the reverse. It's You, you just got to wait like you got in the nick of time uh, to something better, to live with the sun out here, with the car here as well. Could have been something that goes with a car. Talking shit. So you could be being harassed and trolled. This person could be saying bad things about you online to people. This mother could say a lot of bad things. This person could be creating fake accounts going underneath your pictures just posting. Because this would your mother's evil. She's evil as hell. Like, you know, I've seen mean ass moms. And I've seen some evil mother. Happiness hater. I can't make it up. This person does not want, does not like to see you happy. And this is your mother. There are literally parents that stalk their kids online and harass them. And, it's not funny. It's there's something there's something very. This was one of those moments where, uh, you know, I was talking about earlier where something's really kind of fucked up, but you find humor in it. <laughs> a parent got a problem with their own child for no reason but sits behind a phone or a computer, an iPhone or something, because bonjour is very significant here. iPhone is very significant. A parent sits around all day harassing their own child, talking shit underneath pictures, thumbs down in your post. <laughs> I got a new job today. Mom goes, who gives a fuck? I hate you. That's weird, and it's 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 it's. It, I'm laughing at I'm laughing at the absurdity of it all. It's that's so absurd. Rejected, like this mom doesn't want you to have anything. Clarify, rejected. That's weird as hell. This person, your mom is making up lies about you. Your your mom like gossips about you with this talking shit. This mom could possibly say that you're the hater. That's the reason why they don't talk to you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The mother's telling you, telling people that you are a hater. 
uh, and, and 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 that's why and that's why and that you're always lying. So you could be you could be telling people that your mom fake smiles. Your mom fake as hell. Your mom telling people that you're fake. Okay. There's there's something that you're telling people about your mother. Like I feel like you're I feel like now you're not you're not you're not maybe you're not getting high anymore. Maybe you're not living in toxicity. Maybe you're just doing better. Um, maybe I'm telling you with this eight of cups though, I feel like you eight of cups to your mom. Right on time. Right on time. There's some type of evidence that you have about your mother. Maybe you're telling people like, no, my mom is toxic as hell. Maybe now you're maybe now you're comp like you got I got proof. You like I can I'm I'm hearing you say, I can show you. See something's wrong, she's crazy. That's what I'm hearing, like she's crazy. You're gone. You dipped right on time. You traveled. They're, she trying to find you too. I just personally feel like you were you were next on the list. There was a plan. There was a plan for you. So whatever. I don't know because I'm not. I, let's see. What is this? Ego. There was one to come out earlier. Ego. Your light just really irritates your mom's demons. You probably remind your mom a lot of your father. Your father was a, is showing up. Is a good guy here, uh, but yeah, you're, yeah, your mom's trying to scare you. You probably are afraid, or were afraid of your mother. Maybe this is the toxicity that, because the devil, the devil talks about fear. It can. Uh, it's like it's it's like you knew there's something here that you knew that you had to stop talking to your mother, or maybe you maybe this is your confirmation. Um, so what am I hearing now? Okay, so with, you know, as far as how karma goes, again, it's spell work. Spell work is real. I don't. I feel like you know anybody that anybody that has uh, passed on due to some type of spell work, you know, that spiritual court, it, it's going. It, it is this. She's going now. She now her ass is going broke, and, and, you're, and you're not the ticket. Your advice today, whoever you are, is to because your mama ain't about shit. You feel me? Uh, you ate a. I'm telling you, this person had plans for you your advice for this reading overall the the, the very because i i wanted to put energy on because i thought it was kind of interesting how the cards when i split the deck confirmation you got the this is how the cards came out you got the devil in the reverse to death in the reverse to the sun this is some good energy this is you moving forward all brand new you might have suffered some type of death, an ego death, but this is this is this is good. You broke away from something very toxic, something that was going to end you. OK, you didn't even know it. You had no idea that that this is what was coming. So your mother could have been possibly trying to get you to do yourself in or there was some there's some type of collaboration here with some maybe her her new husband or your brother to make sure that you did not live to see another day. Or maybe this is what they're planning now. But whoever you are, you've already gotten away from these people. I'm just telling you that. You are off. You got away just in the nick of time. Or you will be just in the nick of time. I'm telling you. Because some type of... There, there was something that they were setting up for you here. Let's just clarify. What, they, what, what was the tower in the room? What's the tower? What was the tower that they had intended? Like, how were they going to do this? Let's use this one. Okay. How were they going to do this? How are they, how are they going to do this? How what was it? Because I'm telling you, they were setting you up for something here. They probably put a hit out on your ass, but I don't really feel like it's like that. I really feel like because there's something here about toxicity. Um, there's something about something changing, changing for you with the death card out here. I'm telling you, the three of cups, the three of cups. To clarify this. This is something. This has something to do with friends, partying, hanging out. Clarify the three of cups, please. They were going to use your friend, I'm the Eight of Cups, to the ten, the ten of Wands. There was something very burdensome about your life with your friends, your friend group. I'm picking. Okay, let's just keep. Because you know, like sometimes I feel like, um, you know. 
I'm just gonna say how I'm gonna say it. Somebody was out here using drugs, you know, because we don't want to assume certain things. But I'm picking up on the, in the energy from the car. Somebody was using something, doing something, had a very toxic lifestyle, partying with friends, whatever the case may be. A lot of us have, so don't judge nobody. But you walked away from this, and you dropped those burdens. Uh, it's kind of like uh, a radical acceptance or a radical recovery or some type of epiphany or some type of aha moment that you had. But it's, it had something to do with whatever you did with your friends. When them cups is there, drinking, smoking, fucking, whatever. There was going to be some time you were going to die. And it was going to be because your mother wanted it that way. Final message here. And, I'm, and then I'm done. I've already taken a spiritual shower. I ain't taking no more today. Not till later on anyway. You feel me? Somebody's birthday could be November 3rd. Okay. There we go again. The lovers. The Gemini. To the father of swords. Clarify. Your dad could have been a Gemini. Maybe. Father of swords here. I don't know. That's too many. I feel like your dad was the Gemini. We got the four of wands to the five of wands here to the ten of swords at the bottom of the deck in the reverse. What am I picking up on here? Yo daddy protected your ass. There's lovers. Father of swords. King of swords. Your father. This Gemini. Your dad is the Gemini. Okay. Take the energy out right now. But your dad is the Gemini. He brought the he brought that smoke. The four the, the four of uh the four to the five of wands. Yeah, you had some ancestral protection here with the father of swords. Okay, this lover Gemini energy. Yeah, ain't no rest for the wicked is what I just heard. Yeah, this is this is what I'm t what did I say? This is what saved your life. You might have had a, a message from your father or felt something from your father. The devil in the reverse to the ten of swords in the reverse. You lived. Higher power, higher font. That was the key. Maybe you got a message. You had to get away from this crazy bitch mother who belongs to a secret coven. She's a coven. She's a witch bitch. She's a witch bitch. Okay. Your mom is a witch bitch. I said it again. You want me to say it one more again? Okay. God stepped in. There was something, some type of, this is ancestor energy, especially with the, the father of swords out here and the devil in the reverse that you've been protected in the astral. So you could have possibly a lot like me woke up one day and said, I'm just not doing this no more. Save my life. Stop talking to these friends. Ghosted toxic family members, whether it don't matter who, it, who the fuck it is. Your life is way more important than what these people are willing to give it. <clears throat> and unfortunately, a lot of times, these are people that, as I said, hold you as babies. Whether that's your mother, your sister, whoever, auntie, somebody in your family. I'm picking up on your mother. Got rid of your daddy and then got with somebody else. And they've been spending all that money all this time. They now they out of money and now they need some more. So you might there could be something that's st uh, that's sitting around that's yours. You know what I'm saying? If it's a trust, you know, whatever. But definitely you there was going to be some huge financial financial benefit for your mama uh, once your ass was gone. But now she's in debt. So the way that karma comes back to play now she's gonna be broke. You feel me? Something it's it's coming back to her. Don't worry. We had the eight of wands out here in the reverse karma. So I'm picking up on the fact that somebody took out a loan. Somebody took out a loan on the strength uh, that you were going to die and they were going to be able to pay back that loan. No, 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 no. That's what I just heard. So I'm closing out the message, closing out the reading. Um, do me a favor if you can. If you like what I'm doing, like the video. If you want to see some more, subscribe, share these videos. If you feel like they would help somebody or that they are important to the collective, I appreciate you. I'm your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. So I was loving light around this bitch. As always, take it easy. I love you to the moon and back. Thank God that you're alive. Show some gratitude today. You feel me? Deuces. Savage.